here with Luna Fay Creations. Thanks so much for tuning in for another soap making adventure. Today's soap is rather odd. I don't know where the concept came from, but I had imagined a little guest soap that was floral themed, but not just floral theme, most specifically a pastel and goth themed soap. So I was imagining like black roses with pinks and purples on like a base of white. So that's that's where I'm going with this. Gonna make a small batch of it and see how this fragrance behaves because it is a floral. I'm a little bit scared, but let's get started. We're going to, I'm already getting started as I'm talking. Okay, we're gonna get started by mixing together our lye solution in with our room temperature oils. I already have my goat milk powder and my kaolin clay in here. So now let's get started. So I'm gonna keep the base of the simple, mostly because I'm scared of that fragrance. I'm gonna add a little bit of titanium dioxide that I've dispersed in water and just give that a mix and get that poured into my silicone molds. These are the ones that I'm using. They're like little hand size, hand size pucks and we're gonna pour that up and put some embeds and some piping on top of them. So let's get this, oops, mixed up. <laughs> Measure out my fragrance. It's called Magnolia by Crafter's Choice. Oh. Yeah, and it has notes of jasmine, rose and magnolia in it and I'm hoping it doesn't rice or separate or just seize on me and misbehave so let's get that stirred in and I'm gonna start pouring it into my molds let's see Here are the cold process roses that I have already pre-made. I have like a little Wilton silicone mold um, and they're just gonna lay on top and then I'm gonna go get some frosting together and we're going to pipe some little dollops and I don't know. We'll see how it goes. We're just gonna go with the flow here but I'm gonna start by putting these on because this Batter did set up on me. Not, it wasn't a nightmare. It wasn't anything crazy like I've experienced in the past, but it's def, really Tierra, a little, little too hard there. It's definitely one of those fragrances that you have to be careful with because it riced a little teeny tiny bit and florals often give you trouble. But it wasn't so bad that I, I, I'm gonna make a, another batch of these, but I didn't wanna do anything big and then it caused, you know, a giant mess. So we'll make some more of those later. All right, we're gonna get some pinks and purples together. So I've got two little cups here that I've poured up for my frosting and piping. I'm gonna add a little bit of titanium, di titanium dioxide dispersed in water into them to get that pastel. And then for the colors, I have some orchid purple and this is by Nurture. And then I've got this First Crush Mica, and this is by Fizz Fairy Crazy Colors. So I'll go ahead and get them mixed up and let them set until they are ready to be piped. No idea what these ice cream tips are, but I just thought they would work. <laughs> they don't have any labels on them. So I'm just gonna put some dollops on this, see what designs we get. Got the purple over here with sort of a similar tip on there, but we might do some like rosettes with it. We'll just go back and forth until these are all covered with the pink and the purple. Like I said, no idea where this design came from. It just happened. I dreamt about it. I don't know. Let's see if I can. Yeah, we'll just alternate. I should have started. Eh, it's fine. 
Could have alternated already, but we're, we're gonna figure this out as we go. I love it already. These are gonna be so pretty. These are gonna be perfect for spring. I'm also getting Valentine's Day vibes with this, but not what they were meant for, although that would be a really cool idea for next year. Um, I don't know, do they need glitter? I think they're gonna need some glitter. These are going to be so stinking cute. If goth can be cute, this is it. Yay. All right, I'm gonna continue to go about and just pipe all of this pink and purple on here until it is covered and then we'll get some glitter on here. Got some silver rainbow eco glitter from Brambleberry. I've got some of their white bursting beads and their pink bursting beads, and I thought these things needed to go on the soap. So let's start with the bursting beads. Some of these will stick, some will fall off, but that is fine. I'll give these a spray with rubbing alcohol. I'll let them sit for 24 hours and then I'll come back and I'll mold them and show you guys what they look like. So far I'm really happy with them. I really think they are adorable. And I love like the little rain wreath. It looks like a flower wreath. It's really pretty. Happy, happy. So I'll definitely make another batch of these. And finally, glitter. Try not to go too heavy on the glitter. Good. I couldn't decide which kind of glitter. I was like, do I put pink and purple glitter on it? I thought it just needed a little rainbow on here. Perfect. Spray with rubbing alcohol and bring you guys back when I go to unmold them. All right, so we can unmold these and I can tell you just from here that they smell so good. I'm not a very big like floral focus. There's always a problem. Not a very big floral like jasmine rose type of person, but this smells like spring to me. These not just Valentine's Day, these I think are be good for Easter. I think these would look great. Even Mother's Day. Oh, like I love spring. I'm so ready for spring. And these smell just like a bouquet of fresh cut flowers. They remind me of walking into the grocery store in the springtime and they always have all those lilies and hyacinths out and tulips and daffodils and it just like kicks you in the face when you walk in and then you sneeze and you're like, all right, get me out of here. <laughs> this smells like spring. If you guys are interested in purchasing one of these, they will be available on March 25th, just in time for spring. I'm so excited. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. If you are new and haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button and join me for more fun soap making adventures. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them for me in the comment section down below. And until next time, I hope you guys have a very nice day. And I will smell you later.